Hey everyone! At the end of October, I flew to the one Nordic state I hadn't visited yet. The only one missing from the list. Norway, which ranked 9th in the list of most expensive countries in the world to live in and ranked 7th in the happiest countries in the world list. When I first planned my journey, I bought a return ticket from Edinburgh to Bergen with Scottish airline Loganeer. However, as the outbound flight was moved to another date and I would have to spend too long in Bergen, I decided to get the refund instead of accepting the new date and I booked a flight to all law instead with airline Norwegian so that I got to visit both the capital of Norway and the city of Bergen too. So I'm actually glad that the inconvenience happened. I kept the return flight with Loganeer. What an adventure. My flight is almost three hours late. The plane was so tiny and I've never been a fan of small planes. Anyway, the flight from Edinburgh to Oslo was 80 euros, that is around 68 British pounds. I need to go there. Thank God there's this map because I don't have any data. My hotel is down this road. It's really cold. You can tell that it's zero to two degrees. There's a statue of a seal. I already like Oslo. I had initially planned to go to Bergen exclusively because I thought I would like it more than Oslo. Madre Terra Italia cominciava a far sentire il suo richiamo. As I had heard that the capital was very modern and I'm not particularly into modern capitals, but I was actually surprised. The hotel is beautiful. Why is it not going? Five. Good. No. That's my birthday. The room is small but lovely. And not too small, actually. And the hotel is lovely as well. It's in the neighborhood where there's all the theaters and plenty of restaurants as well. I'm very happy with my choice of hotel. I'm staying three nights and -da -da -da, paying 370 euros. So 370 divided by three is a hundred and... 25 more or less and now i'll have a shower but first of all i will have my sandwich my pret a manger sandwich it's my favorite with avocado olives and tomatoes because today i didn't have anything except the five euro pastel pastel de nata when i read the price i thought it was wrong so this is four pounds thirty never again let's laugh to not cry as we say in italy the ticket from the airport to my stop near the hotel it was a eight minute walk was 10 euros which is not cheap but this is norway and it's one of the most expensive countries in the world so can't complain i cannot wait to use these two products because rituals is such a lovely brand and me that being used to hostels i wanted to bring my shower gel and shampoo just in case very important detail there's the kettle let's watch some norwegian television now this is very dangerous i'm afraid i'm spending my holiday in oslo in bed no i'm joking obviously <laughs> but tonight i think i'll stay in because it's two degrees outside and it's six o'clock and i've been traveling the whole day it's one degree outside first of all i'm going to have breakfast because I haven't had anything to eat in a long time, so I'm really looking forward to that. And also, I read some reviews which say that breakfast in this hotel is fantastic, so I'm really looking forward to eating a lot. So it's after breakfast, 
which was very nice. There was plenty of choice, but also it was very crowded. So I just wanted to sleep and I went down at 10. I didn't sleep very well. I don't know why, probably because last night it was a bit loud because the location of the hotel is beautiful, right in the center, but also it is loud. Isn't it wonderful when you randomly turn the corner and you find your hotel by chance? My room must be there, it's the fifth floor. And last night was Saturday night, and obviously, as you do on Saturday nights, I stayed in my bed since arriving in the hotel at 6 o'clock until this morning at 9.30. <laughs> I was knackered, and also, most of all, I was so into this book I'm loving it. This is going to hurt. I'm really um, touchy when it comes to blood and these kind of things. So I had to skip over a story. Just one. Just one. Um, but yeah, it's a brilliant book. It's so funny. The sense of humor of the author, I really like it and I recommend it. Uh, and I can't wait to watch the BBC series as well. Today I'm going to, not farm, from, from museum, which is the museum of the polar expeditions undertaken by Norway. It's called Fram after the most famous wood vessel in the world for polar expeditions and I'm really looking forward to that. It's quite far away from where I am because I'm in the center of Oslo while Fram Museum is on the peninsula can't remember the name, I write it here. So I'll have to get a bus and it's going to take me 10, no, 20 minutes on the bus and then it's a 10 minute walk. And then tomorrow probably I'll go see the opera and yeah, I think tomorrow the weather is going to be worse than today. But yeah, so I was thinking about going today to the opera because it's all outside and then tomorrow as the weather is worse I could like take refuge in a museum, but it's the same really, except for the opera, but if tomorrow it's going to snow, I can hide in Edvard Munch's museum, so that's fine. Museum, sorry, I keep hearing dogs barking, uh, you know, it's my calling. Yeah, because they say that Fram Museum is the most, or one of the most beautiful museums of Norway, so yeah, let's go. <laughs> 